Should it be harder for those who do have body modifications to be or feel accepted? Some people might, but as far as the older generations go, you might feel a little out of out of the crowd, you know, not accepted for your tattoos, but honestly, I don't. And I mean, there are some places that you will go to that you feel like you are, but me personally, no. I don't think so. I think maybe in times past, it would have been looked on maybe in a different way than it is today. And I think people put kind of less importance on what your outward appearance is today. I think like to people around your age, I think they think it would be cool. Like, but I think to people older, like adult, like 40 year olds, I think they feel threatened by it for some reason because they like go out there to like get their body like permanently inked. So they feel like, oh, like those kids out there doing this stuff, pretty wild. Yeah, but I don't know. Just because an individual is different in appearance doesn't make them less acceptable in society or unqualified. I do have a body modification in the sense that like I had plastic surgery on my nose. <laughs> Nine plus one big one. Do they mean anything special to you? Yes, they all have meaning behind it. It depends on the business, I would say, because with lawyers, I mean, it's very professional. So you're going to have to be very professional. And if, you know, certain tattoos are showing, depending on what the tattoo is, it might not seem very professional. Well, uh, although it do I don't feel like it in influences or hinders them from doing the same job or performing in the same way, in our society there are kind of maybe unspoken agreements where it's not really socially acceptable. You wouldn't expect to walk into a courthouse and see a judge, um, you know, like with his lips pierced or his eyebrow pierced. I don't think we're maybe that far fashion forward yet for that to be um, overall accepted by the public like in general. Yeah, I think they should because it would bring like, I feel like when people work at places and they have like body art, it makes the place seem more artistic and that's what people want and they think that's what brings more customers in so I think that they should do that everywhere. Nowadays, yeah. Do you think it should be that way? No. <laughs> Depends on the modification. Um, I've had piercings and I've had tattoos. With tattoos, you're going to find yourself in an area where you do get a tattoo if it is, it's going to be visible. If it's going to be visible, you know, there might be some consequences as far as jobs go or special events when you're wearing your clothes, um, piercings, uh, there could be some consequences with that as far as same thing, work, certain events, photos. Um. Maybe if it's like your ex-girlfriend's name or something. How about when you're older? Well, when you're old and like saggy? Yeah. Um, depends on where you get it, yeah, I guess. So um, I think it might be kind of career specific. Uh, for example, I don't think you could walk into very many banks and see someone, you know, all slung down with tats on their neck or on their face and stuff like that. But, you know, that might be preferable if you're in, uh, if you're in the artist community or if you're in the music or something like that. They might like that better. I, I don't know. Yeah.
animals tend to be closed-minded, which then has us judging people on the way they look. One category of individuals society doesn't give a second glance at is those with body modifications, such as tattoos or piercings. Now, although society is slowly opening up to the idea of body art, there is still a prejudice against it. Jobs are harder to obtain, and it goes into the idea that we as humans don't have the freedom to express who we are. Those with body modifications aren't the no-good, didn't-go-to-college groupies. Should it be harder for those who do have body modifications to be or feel accepted? Anyone again, but I didn't have to. You had me at a 